Let me show you how you can create an Instagram Reel in Canva, synchronizing the changes in scene with the beats of the music, just like this. Let's go! To start, from your Canva homepage, click on Create, and here you can search for Instagram Reel. This way, you will have already the right format. You can either upload a video that you want to, or you can search within the Canva library here in Elements, and you can type anything you're looking for, such as getting ready. And here, click on Videos. You can filter here all that are free and all that are in vertical. That is the format of Instagram that you'll need for the reel, okay? You can choose any video from the Canva library or upload your own video by clicking on Uploads. I already had a video here for you. This is the video I wanted to start with. As you can see, it's very bright and I want to add some text. So in order to make my text more readable, I'm going to reduce the lighting of the videos by clicking on the video and then add it going to adjust and the brightness, I mean, here, I'm going to reduce it to maybe 35 to build enough contrast from the video and the text that I'll set in the first page. Every page here is a kind of a cut in your video, okay? So for the first scene, that's the video I want. And now I'm going to add text. I already am going to change the font to the font that I want. And I'm searching for Times New Roman here. I'm changing its color and I'm going to change its size as well. And the letter spacing. I think minus 30 is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'm just going to type something here like ready to start a new month, but I wanted the word month just to be with a different font. So I'm going to center this and I'm also going to change the line spacing because I want them to be closer, maybe like this. That's already good. I still think it's not readable enough, so I'm going to add another effect to make it kind of more readable and to create a, a higher contrast to the background. And I'm going to add a different word here that is month. And I wanted just to add a different font. And the font I'm looking for is this one here, Sloop Script Pro. I'm also going to make some adjustments. I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to center it. Yeah, just like that. Now I am going to kind of center everything. Actually, I wanted to change this to the Times New Roman Condensed. When I look at it, that's yes. I think that gives more elegance to it. Still, I want to add another element on the background to make this text pop a little bit. So I'm going to Elements now and I'm going to search for Gradient Circle. Yes, I think this is the one that's actually kind of cool, but I want to change its color. I want to give this kind of green touch to it. I think it's nice to the concept that I had in mind. And now what you're going to do is to have another video to follow this, you just click here on the plus sign. So that's another page. And here you can add a different video. So this is the video I wanted to have here. And now I'm going to set it as a background. And I'm not going to add further texts here. This is just like this kind of very fast videos that you show. You can even put an image in between if you want. but I'm thinking about adding another video here. One tip that I can give you is sometimes you see it's difficult to kind of see these videos here and to control their timing. One thing you can do is you can take right here on the zoom thumbnails and you see I can zoom them more according to the time that I have here. Look, this is very long timing. 
like for the first seconds of this reel. So now I can adjust it from here. I'm just going to leave like two seconds. And then this video is going to be very short as well, like one second and the same here. So I'm going to change the timing of the videos for every cut. I'm going to add some more videos here. So we have a seven second video, very short, but that shows people like that this person is ready to start a new month and some things that is going to happen in this month, but the person is going to explain that more in the captions. There you go. I added some more videos. One thing that I wanted to show to you is when you think, oh, this video I wanted to have appearing first, you can just click on that, you see, and move it. And then you have it first. I think it is already nice. We are showing a bit of this routine for starting the new month. You can also add something that is very nice. Music is very important in your reels. If you're a business, you just have to pay attention not to use copyrighted music, which in Canva is very nice. So you can search exactly for music without copyright. So you're safe. Now what you're going to do is you can add the music from here if you don't want to add that in Instagram. And here you can search for an audio. I'm searching for free music. And as you can see, it will appear lots of copyright free music that you can add, okay, without having to fear that you're going to enter in any problem with that. Okay, so you can search from here. You can also upload an audio from a different free library into Canva. And once you find any music that you like, you can simply grab and drop it there for the video, you see. And one nice thing in Canva is that you can select the audio and you see this uh, item here called Beat Sync. If you click there, you can, it is a pro feature only, but you can then let Canva synchronize the audio or the music with the changes of scenes in your reel. Let me show you what I mean with that. So now that Canva did this work for me, and if I don't like it, I can even try to change for a different one. I say, oh, it's now too long, the video. So I can kind of shorten it and I can try to find the here moments in the music that there is also a kind of change in the music, something like this one I like actually, but let me show it to you. Like here I see there is this mark here now it's change is going to be changing in every, everywhere, but now I can adapt very quickly, you see, to a different moment in the music that is that has also this kind of new beat. It's difficult to show in the video because it is very small to be seen and it's even sometimes difficult to work on that. Uh, but this is a, another way to go and I'll show that to you as well. So it worked, as you can see, so you can have the control over the beats of the music if you let Canva sync that for you, or if you yourself adjust that by looking at these points within the audio. When you're done, and I think it's it turned out very nice, it's a simple reel, you go to share, download, and you can download it as a MP4 video. Okay, you can select the pages. If there is one you're not sure, leave it behind or select all pages. Okay. This is a quality that is good for streaming. As you can see, if you put this, this is for large screens, then Instagram is going to kind of set it back by uploading. So this is a good format already. And then when you're done, just click on download and you will have your MP4 file that you can upload to Instagram with the music. If you don't want the audio, you can simply delete it and you have a simple video that you can prepare with your fonts, uh, with your colors in Canva, all in one place with these kind of adjustments that we did with no transition. Super simple this time, but to see and to show you how easy it is to edit your reels in Canva.
I hope you like this. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and see you in the next video.